hello guys welcome back to day number 21 so it has been said it's a old saying that if you do anything for 21 days you just developed a habit for that so i hope as you are doing every day something 15 minutes 10 minutes you are spending so this type of uh, like industry oriented study become a habit for you you keep on doing every day it's my wish and also for my side I'm not sure if I can make video every day. It's very hectic. It's not possible. <laughs> yeah, but let's see. Let's see. After 30 days, let's complete the 30 days first. Okay. So today we will uh, try out this one, this first problem. And here what they are saying. They are saying we need to popul uh, okay, population count. Uh, don't go with the word. The main thing is that uh, if you have some input, like what's the main task actually? For example, if you have an input like this, 1, 0, 0, 1, 0, zero zero one so you just need to tell how many time one has arrived here so here how many time one have arrived it is arrived for three times so our output should be like this in binary only so if you convert it into decimal it will become three so that's the simple task right i hope you can do it but still i'll help you so what we need to do we just need to write a for loop a simple for loop and it will work for you so for for loop we know uh, we can't write for loop without any block and we need to write it inside a always block probably so yeah so let us start with always at the rate star yeah and then begin the block and end the block inside that we will write for int or oh, not like this for int i equal to zero i should be less than how much so what we need to do we need to go actually here it is 254 but for example like the same example only if it it was for zero 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 one zero one zero and this is your input if it is your input then what we need to do we need to go or transverse through each of the index right like we need to go to in zero and we need to check a hey is it one or not if one then increase the counter or else don't increase the counter so that's why we are using a for loop here so here see your for loop must go up to 254 right so we will write our for loop must go up to 254 and then comma um, semicolon and then i equal to i plus one and then we will begin the block we will end the block and inside we will write if, uh, not like this if your in i is equal to equal to one bit because anyway uh, we, we are selecting one of the bit for our in right so if yeah bit is equal to one then what we need to do we need to increase our out so we will write out equal to out plus one and semi, uh, one and semicolon and here see your out is of eight bit so why it is eight bit because for so for 255 bit because it's starting from zero right so that's why one increased so for 255 bit if all become one then what is the equivalent decimal sense so so the equivalent decimal sense can be expressed using using 8 bit binary presentation so that's why we are using 8 bit here right okay now another thing is there see anytime we are starting our always block anytime this signal are changing we will start our always block but nowhere we say that our out will start from zero because we need to start our count from zero right so that's why in first line you need to write like this out equal to so it's of seven oh sorry it's a seven uh, eight bit right so we will we'll write eight bit and then b and then eight zero so this will tell that hey your so initially all the bits of your out because out is a eight bits number so it's kind of bus you can consider so all the bus all the uh, net of or bits of out will be assigned to zero and if and only if this condition is true then we will keep on increasing our out here else part is not needed in one of my um, video i have said that we need to define else also otherwise we will define a layer or something right 
but here see we have already assigned output to all the bits of our out so therefore no bit will remain unassigned and therefore the simulator will never create a latch but still if you are confused then you can do like this else out equal to out don't in, don't um, increment it okay let me submit it and see if we get a i think we'll get some error here yeah so we are getting an error mismatch why because see what we have done here in our i only it is a 255 right so here what we need to do we need to write up to 255 so i guess this is the only error and this is a very common error anytime we use a for loop so please keep a mind and see we got a success so that's great now let's go to the next problem so yeah next problem have lot of not lot of but yeah there are theories and i need to take a lot of time but today i really i have very less time so we will end our video here only uh, you have already one questions from last day right day number 20 please try out that question if you still haven't and at uh, we'll sure have a little bigger video tomorrow day number 22 for today please excuse me and keep smiling and we'll see you on our next video tata bye bye